What is up enthusiasts, it is Cedar Flags here and welcome back to another one of my videos. So a few days ago, I decided to make my own concept of an RMC version of Wildcat at Hershey Park. And in doing that, I thought to myself, man, it would be fun to do this on other coasters. And maybe even other coasters that don't have any plans on closing at all. But some coasters that would be really good candidates for the RMC treatment. And I thought of a few. And the first one I really started to obsess over was an RMC version of Le Monster at La Ronde. This park has always, well, fascinated me. It's in one of the biggest cities in the country, but doesn't have a massive standout world-class coaster. So I really think this would do it. Anyways, let's talk about why I think this would be a great RMC and why it could possibly be the best coaster in the country. Getting into the statistics of the ride, the ride would be 145 feet tall, which would be about 44 meters. The ride would have a max drop height, which would be the first drop, at 139 feet and would be about 42 meters. The top speed will be 62 miles an hour, which is around 100 kilometers per hour, and the track length is 3,737 feet long, which is 1,139 meters. The ride will have a grand total of 18 airtime moments, including four inversions. These four inversions are one, a one-of-a-kind double zero G roll. I've seen these in a few other No Limits concepts, and I've decided to create my iteration of it. A massive cutback, and then near the end of the ride, a smaller version of a cutback. Some other notable elements include a long pre-lift, a low-to-the-ground wave turn, an outward bank turn that is 90 degrees outwards, a triple down, and a double down. So, could this be the best coaster in Canada? I really think it could be, because it would be probably the best in ejector airtime, pacing, and uniqueness. But, there are some few other strong coasters in Canada that would leave this from being the perfect coaster, because when it comes to restraints, I think Coaster at Playland takes that, and when it comes to positive Gs, Mindbender at Galaxyland is the king of that. So even though this coaster wouldn't be the perfect coaster for the country, I really think it would be the overall best and most well-rounded. So let's get into a POV without further ado.